Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Dark Souls 3. We are on... Holy shit, this is easy to fall down here. Uh, luckily it's not fatal, that drop. But we are going on a mission to get one item and I have no idea how to get it. I think I have an ID. I need to get to the first floor of the ruins over here. But the problem with that is this first floor over there. I want to get that item over there. The problem is that I have no clue how to get on that floor over there so that I can walk around. Oh, hey, holy shit, what's that? Ah, nothing. That's just... Holy shit, there's one of those monsters down below over there. That's a sneaky placement. Can you imagine accidentally falling in and then immediately getting bum rushed? Holy shit, where is that? So that's like the basement or something. I don't understand. You you cannot really access it from the outside, I think. I'm not sure. We'll watch out for that annoying crap. We immediately aggros. Holy shit. Check it out. Motherfucker. Maybe there is a way. Down there, through here. No, I don't see any opening. Ah, there it is. That is the way. In. And maybe that also then has like a ladder or something up to that first level that I wanted. Because I really don't see any other way to get that item. Unless I can shoot it down, but I don't think so. Nope. I really need to approach it from the first floor. So let's go and do that. Explore the bottom area. Three Estes, four thirty-eight. Alright, that means I can take an Estes and still not be at max. Alright. Ah. I am at max. I have no idea how much Estes one shot uh, heals, how much HP. I was at 438, I think, and now it's 772. So that is um, 38, that is 34, 334 is what it at least can heal, because I think that is the amount of damage I had. All right, now the ID is to run over there, but I need to be careful because that crap will aggro and there are uh, quite some aggressive enemies in there as well. Here, there it comes. Check it out. What an asshole. What an asshole. Check it out. Them from here. 
least now it's in a melee mode. And that means less likely that it will bury itself. Alright, let's cheese this one. Although I really have to look out because they can kill you. The, uh, through the walls happened to me many times all right i need to be a little bit patient but i find it worth it because these guys killed me so often and i really cannot get closer because he will hit me through the through the wall Maybe a little bit closer. Come on. Maybe it will drop something good. Let's watch out for the enemy over here. There is one over there. Yeah, and that is the one that I actually saw. Over there is the hole in the roof that I saw. So there's n I don't see any way up. There are just two items here. damage all right we are now at 375 so that means 325 397 damage let's see how much i get from an estus Three ninety-seven damage uh, and now it heals 397 minus 62 397 uh, with 337 um, 335 I think is what it heals I may be mistaking there. Alright, sorcerer stuff. Ember. Six 
stage ring. All right. Probably that boosts m magic. Where is it? Here it is. Shorten spell casting time. Ooh, pretty handy. A ring given to Farron's undead legion by one of the preacher twins, known more commonly as the Crystal Sages. Shorten spell casting time. The sorcerers of Farron's abyss watchers were known to be lonesome warriors who would only rely upon pragmatic, upon more pragmatic spells. All right. Anyways, still no clue. How to freaking get up there. Get up on the first floor. Ah, is there... No, there's no way there. God damn it. I really hate this. I do like these, these uh, puzzles, you could call them. But it's also a little bit annoying. So yeah, there is just stuff over there, but how the hell do I get up there? Is there a ladder I'm overlooking? No, there's no ladder here. There's no way in there. I'm pretty sure that's there is no entrance in that wall. It pretty much looks like uh, bricks in the in those arches. So there's not really a passage. Only passage I saw is over there. There is a passage in that archway on the first floor. But that's probably the entrance, which means that I need to get to the other side, but there's no way to get to the other side. At least. Ah, check it out. Here we go. Found it. Nice. Oh shit, more enemies. Or not more enemies. Holy shit, who is that? Is he carrying something on his back as well? Or is it an enemy? Right, I first am going to get my little thingy, the objective. What is that dude doing over there, I wonder? Blue bug pellets. What the hell does that do? Temporary boost magic damage absorption. All right. For how long? Medis medicinal pellet made from crushed, insect crushed insects. The blue type temporarily boosts magic damage absorption. The bor boreal valley is infested with moon bugs. Meaning, boreal or boreal valley is infested with moon bugs. Meaning, ingredients are never far from hand for the erythelian slaves who concoct this medicine. Medici medicinal pellet made from the from crushed insects. The red type temporarily boosts fire damage absorption. Prepared in the Cathedral of the Deep by evangelists who dole them out to followers to ease their suffering when they burn. Oh, by the way, I will forgot when we were at Firelink, I wanted to see if I could sell that weird tongue that I have here. Proof of an invader's victory of over a host of embers. Because 
That is more of like an online item anyways. I'm not going to use it. And I find it a little bit freaky to have a Tom in your inventory. So I want to sell it. I'm not even sure I can sell it. <coughs> All right. Either we fight this guy or we can talk with him. I think we can talk with him. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Ask to learn sorceries. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge. Okay, okay. In the form of scrolls detailing sorcery secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? I can do that. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, a Vinheim, unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Right, he is back to Firelink, I guess. And the question is, do we also want to go back to Firelink now? Or are we going to um, go to explore the other area no we need to go back or at least to a bonfire because i have no estes anymore hardly any and we have 5700 this is 1000 67 yeah i hope i have enough to sell to do another level up all right here we go we are now going to go to another bonfire Just because that is closer by the what I think is a boss area that we will be fighting. And that area is... Uh, you cannot really see it. There, yeah, I think there's an um, archway over there where we can get through. Uh, you know what? I'm not going, I can run through the bonfire, but the problem is that there is an annoying dog over there and I hate those dogs because I mostly defeat them, but the problem is I almost always uh, miss and then they get some hits in and that is just super frustrating. So to avoid that, I'm just going to travel bonfire to bonfire. That would be this one. Here we are. So we have again these annoying crabs, but I'm just going to run past. There are couple of dudes standing over there, two dudes, and it's quite a big stairs to an, uh, what I assume an open area thereafter, which I assume is, um, is a boss arena, but I'm not sure. Because there was yeah, the crystal sage over there, and you also had like two mini bosses over here. I'm not sure whether there will also be a boss there, but we will uh, see that soon enough. Now, 
it gives the fire in. And also see what kind of sorceries the guy. Let's see how. Welcome home. I shall speak. How much well, then does it cost? Ninety-nine fifty-six. Well, and let's see where that sorceries guy is, and also see if we oh. can sell the tongue. Yes, but only for ten. I will sell it anyways because I don't want a tom in my inventory. Let's sell this one as well. This one as well. Homeward bones. Don't really need it. For now. Uh, yeah. I still need 2700. Uh, 1700. is all not that much poison yeah, god damn it I don't have enough to sell ah you know what I will just sell some gems um, titanite skill here, I have two crystal weapon gems. Let's sell one. Um, here, this is apparently also quite Expensive weapon, it scales A with strength. Will not be using it, probably. Check out this one. I'm, it's a unique weapon that I made. Ah, this one as well. There are thousands, worth 1000. God damn it, I need to sell some stuff. Green Dragon Great Shield. Why is this one more expensive than this one? Probably because this one does have relatively high physical damage uh, for a parry shield. No idea. This one is also parachuted. It does 60 physical uh, defense. I meant uh, not damage. I think I said damage earlier. I meant defense, of course. Uh, this one has 89 defense. So it's. Uh, this one has also 60. These are all parry shields. Yeah. Let's just sell a set that I will not be using. Like the Conjurer sets. I will not be using that one. that I will not be using. Yeah, this is all actually pretty cool. Pretty cool sets. Even the sorcerer, I would like to put it on just for fun at one point. God damn it, I need 1000. Where to get 1000? could sell this one, the grass chest shields. Yeah, 
89 weighing with defense four and a half it weighs this weighs a little bit more but it's 100 defense and you know what i'm going to let you go shield and also those gems i am not going to probably infuse that many weapons heavy gem that skills with strength Ah, and I also have two, so I will be selling one. I'm not gonna upgrade strength that much anyways. Refined I may use. Crystal, I have no idea what it does. A gem of infused titanite introduced to will sort by the crystal sages. Used in infusion to create crystal weapons. Crystal weapons inflict magic damage and skill effectively with intelligence. Ah, I do have... Um, somewhat of a plan to make an intelligence build so i will be keeping the crystal gem um, yeah how much do i need 200 this together is 110 if i sell them not really a lot this is 100 yeah you know what Boost damage and fire absorption. I'm gonna sell boost magic and fire uh, damage absorption. I'm gonna sell one of this one and one of that one. And now we're good. I actually sold one too many, I think. Ashen one, be sure to bring. Alright, what Welcome are we husband. going to upgrade? Very well. Then touch take Nari. Figure. Here, I don't understand. I only have 594 health points, but in game I had 774. Not sure what that is all about. I didn't sell one item too many because now I have 173 left and I sold it for 200 so I did need 27 souls for me. Um, anywho. Farewell, Ashen One. Right, right. Let's find that new dude that I'm not sure where he is. The guy selling sorceries. Should be somewhere around. I think he may be upstairs somewhere. Because over here it's already quite full with people's. Ah, there he is. Oh, you're back then. Again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. It is folly to claim lives recklessly, friend. Do not be tempted. No matter the victim's stature, every killing has a consequence. Even as I bloodied my hands, I never realized this simple truth. There I was, the very definition of a fool. I don't mean to seem overbearing, but have you forgotten? In exchange for my sorceries, you are to bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing the secrets of sorcery. All right, right. I hope you're not one to break a promise. 
Right, what do we have? Soul arrow, great soul arrow, heavy soul arrow, great heavy soul arrow. Holy shit. So great heavy, great heavy, fair and darts. So great sword, fair and flesh sword. Magic weapon, magic shield, spook. decoy that one is pretty cool actually I think anywho come again we are pretty much done I think over here I don't have anything to upgrade not enough upgrade materials let's go check out that area for bolts with a shorter range due to their weight. Oh my god, those dogs. Where is it? These dogs. I so hate them because I so often miss. Here again, I shoot him. Hit him. I get these dogs are the most annoying enemy in the game. So often do I fucking I should hit the uh, I should hit them but it simply doesn't register super annoying all right here we go I do really like this swamp area I cannot deny it. I simply cannot deny it. Oh shit, I thought I could uh, jump up on the high ledge over there, but it's not possible. But now, hopefully, we will not be bum rushed by the crab. No. Uh, now he's aggroing. I thought he would aggro way sooner. Anyways, there is a dude over there, and there's also another dude that will walk past. So let's first draw him out. Oh shit, what? Does he have spells? What kind of magic is he using? I don't want to get too close because there's another dude that will hear. This is what I mean. I don't want to fight two of these dudes. Holy shit, this guy is quick. He looks quick. Ah! Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I was accidentally... fuck is this? Here, this is what I mean with annoyance. Are you kidding me? Like, what the hell is up with this? I am missing a little bit too much. Ah, come on. Screw this shit. You know what? I'm going to take a different uh, approach. I 
at least my first damage. They're actually evading quite effectively. I still have no idea how much health I am left. 445 and 2 Estes. guys are annoying because yeah, I'm not sure if I'm making it up but it feels like my weapon is not um, hitting them so let's see how many souls do I have here? Probably nothing. Yeah, 253. At least I'm not losing a lot of souls. Alright, and I also would like to fight them separately, not at once. I'm pretty sure it is... made so that they will both come. There he is. It is actually a pretty cool fight, I must say. It's a one on one. Oh. Ah, fuck that. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure that there is like a boss fight behind. And this is like a similar enemy. Not sure why he's kicking me.
He likes to use one move a lot. Just poking him. Alright, see you later, dude. Alright, we are getting some cool swords. And now for the big question is this a boss arena? I cannot imagine this is not a boss arena. Check out how big it looks. What the hell is this? Alright. Oh shit. That's a whole other area down below. Is this Farron's Keep or something? What do we have here? It's all a little bit ominous to be honest. Wonder whether I can jump down there. Ah, that is with the Dark Knight, the ruin, I think, that I earlier fought. Oh man, did, didn't I double hand my weapon against that guy? That would be stupid. Alright, we have something down below over there. And I know that there is also a mega crystal lizard in there. Ah, this is just the area that I already cleared out. But I know that over there is still a mega crystal lizard. One of those huge crystal lizards, which are super annoying to fight, I think. So this is probably the way there. And that is probably for the next episode. Because I'm almost hitting the 45 minute marker, but it's at least... What the hell am I hearing? I hear a lot of goo. At least we have a bonfire. Let's rest, rest at it. I wonder whether those annoying guys outside have now respawned. Let's very quickly check that out. And also Ah, no, I thought there was like one of those texts on the floor. But there wasn't. Alright, are these dudes back? No, they're not. What the hell does this say? Turn back. Alright, that is never a good thing to uh, to read, I would say. Turn back. Just checking out if there's anything here. By the way, the light source almost feels like it's a little bit too bright on the wall over there. Anyways, I am um, procrastinating or delaying the inevitable. We need to get down there. And there we have Lothric Castle again, looks beautiful. And I'm sure we will be fighting over there, down below, another swamp. God damn it. And I did hear that. The swamp over here, which I find already quite challenging. It's really like a party place compared to where we are going. Alright, 
still have no idea what the slimy sounds. Well, we are now immediately in that swamp. Holy shit, this is fair and keep. I'm not sure I want to uh, tackle fair and keep now. Maybe I will first go on that bridge on the other side because I heard a lot of bad stories about fair and keep to be honest. Like mages that are healing themselves. Maybe it's not as bad. I mean, it's all maybe subjective. Sting with three pens and open the door to wolf's blood. This looks a bit like that um, underground area in Dark Souls 1 with monsters. At least we have an item over there. Right. So I'm not complaining. Purple moss. So that is against. What an annoying sound design. There will probably be a lot of... Oh shit! I'm getting poisoned. Oops. How does that work? Five... Yeah. Can I also reduce my poison? Does that go automatically or how does that work? Let's really briefly put on the hut. Oh, by the way. Yeah, I'm just super poisoned. Um, so, shall I use one of those mosses? No. I will just go to a bonfire. That should heal me. Anyways, I have to end the episode because I'm already past the um, oh shit! This poison thing goes pretty quickly. Iron flesh. If only I knew what it was. Flesh is just a um, a scroll. Yes, so I should bring that back to that guy in uh, Firelink probably. Boost absorption resistances, but increase weight. Yeah, probably I should use that. Given that I could use some resistance over here. Maybe I should also start wearing some other armor in the next episode. That is more uh, poison resistant. Because this is a bit annoying getting poisoned this quickly. Holy shit, check it out. What do these enemies do? Dead bad. Hello. Alright, what do we have? A ragged mask, god damn it. All that effort for nothing. And I'm pretty sure that those items that are hanging from the tree will be um, following them. 
once we get there. Let's see if we can do that ourselves. Not really. Alright, so far I find Ferrant's Keep not that bad, to be honest. But I'm sure it will become quite annoying. Anyways, um, I will probably, before getting into Ferrant's Keep, I will first be uh, looking at that road on the other side of this area. There was like this bridge leading somewhere and I'm just also curious where that leads. Um, but that will be in the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.